Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the AI video. In this one, we're in chat LLM, but moreover, we're in code LLM. What am I talking about? Simple here. Chat LLM Teams has released a complementary code editor, and it's not a regular code editor. It is an AI code editor that combines all the best coding large language models. All the big ones are in here. The O1s, the Sonnets, the Llamas, you name it, it's in here. It's absolutely wild. And here's the best part. It's unlimited to use. If you have a chat LLM license, you can use it. It's unlimited. It's got an introductory quota. So you can just go ham, use it as much as you want. And it is absolutely wild. I'm going to show you why it's wild. Let's take a look at it. All right. So here we are. We're in code LLM and I'll just give you a quick tour of it. And then I'm going to show you how to download it and really dig in. But real quickly here, you're going to see at the top right, it's got all of these different large language models built in. So you do not just get one model, you get lots of them. Right now they've got Claude Sana 3.5, can't go wrong with that one. They got Abacus AI Dracaris, it's a great open source model. Quen 72B Code LLM 0101 Mini, and as new models and updates come out, they're no doubt going to be added in. That's the first really cool thing I want to mention. Also, this is clearly a VS Code client. This is built around that. So if you've used Visual Studio Code at any point in your life, this is going to be a breeze for you. It is awesome. Now, before I dive in and show you some really cool use cases, let me show you how to go ahead and download it and install it. Let's go in there next. All right, so there's two ways to install this. The first one here is you can go to the website codellm.abacus.ai. It is up and running here. You'll see under Code LLM, it's an AI code editor plus assistant. And yes, it's a fully featured IDE, code autocomplete, generate code, and it combines the large language models, all the best ones. So that's included here. But look at this here. It says it also comes bundled with the AI super assistant, Chat LLM. And I've done about 40 videos on Chat LLM. I'll put links in the description. So you get all of this, and better yet, you get it for $10 per user, which if you compare that to, for example, ChatGPT, ChatGPT alone is $20, and you get nowhere near as much functionality as you do with uh, Code LLM and Chat LLM combined. Also, the second way, if you are a current Chat LLM user, you can just go right into Chat LLM like I've done here. On the left side, you'll see Code LLM. It says new here under tools. Click on that, and there you go. You can download it, or if you've already got it, it'll go ahead and open it. So with that out of the way, that's how you install it. Now let's go ahead and look at some really cool use cases and some really cool things you can do with Code LLM. All right, so just to show you how good this is, it has all the features you'd expect in a really, really good IDE. I mean, it's VS Code based here, but of course it's got LLMs. So let's start off actually nice and simple. I've got a Python file open up here, nothing in it. Let's take a look at autocomplete. How good is this? I'm just gonna copy and paste in a prompt. I'm not even gonna touch anything. It's just going to go ahead and give me the auto completion. If I want to complete that, I'll just hit the tab button, watch that literally done. That's the first thing. It gets a little bit better here though. Watch the next one. All right. The next thing I want to show you is their smart routing technology. Basically, you can type in a prompt. If you go up here to the top right, right now it's set to Claude Sonnet 3.5. But if you select code LLM, this will automatically route your prompt to the best large language model. Let me show you here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to copy and paste in some code here. This is some fancy React code here for a reconciler. But if I go down here to the bottom right, I can just go, hey, what type of file is this? If you're not sure, or if you're stuck, for example, then hit enter. Watch this. Code LLM on the right here. It's going to go, what type of file is this? It's going to give me an answer. This is a JavaScript file that contains code for creating a custom React renderer. Absolutely correct. What file types are missing, if any? Yeah, let's see what this says here. All right, we're just going a little deeper here. What file types are missing, if any? Let's see what it says. All right, it says here, based on the code shown, there are several important missing file types and configurations. Okay, a package JSON file. Okay, add it. Add a package.json. Oops, got it. Spacebar. And you see here, this is how awesome this IDE is. Code LLM, especially the Code LLM smart running technology, allows the basically the IDE to select the best LLM and it gets the work done and you can see it all right here. I could copy and paste that in or create a new file. This is fantastic. Let me show you something now. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is how you can literally prompt your way to a new feature or new function. This is wild. This is what I really like about code LLM. Watch this, I'm gonna paste this in here. I said, hey, 
write a function to measure the latency of an API call and return whether it meets a given threshold in milliseconds. Literally straightforward. Look at this here. It has done it for me. I wasn't even sure what I would have to put in the function because I'm pretty new to Python. Well, it did it for me. And if I hit tab, well, there it is, guys. Watch this. If I go down again, I'll just go to the right here. Watch this. I'll do it again. Uh, write a use case for the above function. There we go. Something like that. I'll just hit enter. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Here we go, Curtis. All right. Use case equals measure underscore API underscore latency etc this is wild and you'll notice here that i'm using claude son at 3.5 but if i want to do some compare and contrasting i could try it with quen 72 i could do it with 01 01 mini is really good at coding guys it's just drag and drop just drop it down there we go so let me show you one last thing and then we're going to wrap it all up all right for the last example we're going to go back to code llm which again sends the prompt to the best large language model depending on what you ask it here we go watch this i'm going to select code llm again i'm going to go into my blank python document i am going to paste in some complicated code and here's the kicker it's in Chinese, so I have no idea really what's going on here. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom right, and I'm just going to start asking questions because that's what, you know, that's what LLMs are for. So what is this code all about? I have no idea. I mean, I can make out a bit of it here, but of course I don't speak Chinese. So let's see what it comes back with here. So it's just doing some thinking. It should take a second here. And presto, here we go. This is an Angular application written in Chinese that implements a user management system. And then it breaks down into the different components here. Data management service, handles CRUD, et cetera, et cetera. I'll just go like, wow, this is awesome. How could you write this in English? Let's see what happens here. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Uh, let's see what it says here. Okay, just hit enter. Now I'll come back when this is done. It should take a few seconds. All right, and here we go. Here's the same code translated to English. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is fantastic. It gives me the entire code. Holy smokes. Wow, this is amazing. I love this. The functionality remains exactly the same, but all identifiers are now in English, making it more accessible to English-speaking developers. I mean, this is just a couple of examples that I wanted to show you. But I mean, if you just look at this, this is absolutely fantastic. Now, keep in mind that this comes with your chat LLM license or your chat LLM subscription. So for $10 a month, you get this, you get access to all of these large language models. You get image generation, video generation. I've got videos galore. I'll put a link in the description below. You get all the large language models. Like I said, this is absolutely wild. Link is in the description below. Let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching.